We're very busy. We get 80,000 rounds a year. We're one of the busiest uh, golf courses in the region. I need a variety of tools in which to manage the grass, basically to manage any kind of disease or uh, aspects that may go out of my control. If I didn't have some of the pesticides that I have available to me that I could use safely, um, I'd, I'd probably have a problem managing the facility, uh, especially the golf course to the level it is right now. I think with new technology it's been really beneficial. Um, I don't know what we would do in terms of maintaining the quality of the golf course. We use basically a, a, you know, an evidence-based, science-based procedure for, for all the, the chemicals that we use for the pesticides, the fertilizers. It's kind of like going into your doctor. Your doctor takes a blood test, right? And he kind of knows then about your nutritional values. It's kind of the same aspect out here. But, you know, if your impact negatively, you need some sort of antibiotic in which to kind of function in a positive way. In fact, you know, sometimes organic can be not the thing. It's not always better. It's what's applied, how it's applied, the way it's applied, the way it gets into the, the biological system. Grass will filter anything and make it cleaner. And that is a benefit of grass. We're trying to make the community the best place we can so that the people that live here can really enjoy it. If they're enjoying the landscape, we're doing our job. But when you have problems and they get out of hand, the economic destruction is incredible, especially on green sites and heavily stressed areas. You know, if we didn't have these safe products that the EPA has approved, and California is a difficult state to get things approved. And I can tell you, it wouldn't look like this, and I may not have a job, that's for sure.